My name is Callie, and I'm going to be playing Dysphoria, and it's a game created by Anna Anthropy, who is a transgender woman and wanted to make a game explaining her story of the last six months of hormone replacement therapy and estrogen. And um, she makes a little statement at the beginning of the game explaining how this is only her story and her version of taking hormones, and not everybody's is the same. I think that's a good description to have to explain how everybody's story is going to be different. Mm -hmm. But um, the game is created in an 8-bit style using arrow keys to control the game. And it's made up with a series of mini games to describe each struggle or uh, part of her journey that she went through. The game doesn't have any instructions, but it has dialogue to explain what all she went through. And there can be a little bit of frustration in the game where it doesn't give you any choices and sometimes it moves through the frames faster than you can finish each mini game. And so I think that's meant to kind of uh, duplicate the feelings that she uh, felt when she was going through hormone replacement. In the reading Love is in the Air, Anna Anthropy says that a lot of the queer games today don't fully explore being queer transgender. So she really wanted to make sure she could tell a story that others could relate to and to tell a story that's not necessarily usually told in video games. Her style of video games is also very different than regular video games and the fact that there's no clear goal in mind other than to just learn from the story and learn her experience. But you don't earn points or anything throughout the game. Several of the mini games are also repeated later on. So there was a part where she was shaving and she nicked herself, but then later on she explains how she has less body hair. And uh, another one would be when she gains confidence throughout the story. Like people are misgendering her and she calls them out on it later on. There are four levels of the game and level one, level two, level three, and level four. And each has a different title, level one being gender bullshit, which explains her life before she goes on hormone replacement and all the things she had to deal with, which made her come to the conclusion that she should go through the therapy. And metaphors about her not fitting in and being bullied. And then level two is medical bullshit, where she um, tells about the struggles of finding a doctor that understands and trying to be able to start the treatment. And then level three is hormonal bullshit, and you can see the clear themes to the names explaining how frustrating of a time it was. And then it also explains more of the problems that came with taking the treatment. And then level four is It Gets Better, which is kind of her message to people going through it, saying like, these things will be stressful, but it'll be worth it in the end. And also explaining how her confidence is going up, as well as seeing changes in her body. And overall, I think this game really shows how games don't necessarily have to be like standard video game, but you can actually use the gaming platform to get a clear point across.